<coughs> Shit. Oh. Hi, everyone. What is going on? There's I. I was favorite jack of all trades with a foul mouth, common herb. And, uh, today, I'm going to be doing another book review with you guys. Like I said, I got a, I got several books I got to review. So I'm just going to just kind of do them in an assembly line. But, before I begin, I just want to say hi to all the new subscribers and to all the originals out there, the original members of the Commoner crew. Thank you guys for watching this shit. It's the reason why I fucking do this crew, do this fucking crap. It's for you guys. Like I said, if I was to do this for myself, I would just say fuck it. And uh, I just want to say uh, something a little bit before I begin. Um, I just want to say hi. Hi to Jerry. What's going on? I, I did watch your video on the magical, magic scale modeling Titanic light and sound set. That is so fucking cool. I mean, all the shit you're getting for that trumpeter kit, oh my god, it is going to be absolutely, like, it's going to be fucking awesome. It's going to be even better than this. And this is my best one. My 1-400 scale. I mean, yours is going to blow mine out of fucking water. So, thank you so much for mentioning me and stuff. I, I really appreciate it. I actually cried. I cried again because I get really emotional. I was like, holy shit, people, people actually care. So, respect, buddy. Thank you. Anyway, the book we are, that we are, um, reviewing is another Titanic book. The reason why we got the great ship behind us. And the book that we're going to be reviewing today is The Last Days of the Titanic. Photographs and mementos of the tragic maiden voyage by E. E. O'Donnell with forward by Dr. Robert D. Ballard. Now this book is absolutely, absolutely amazing book. Uh, it says um, the last days of the Titanic takes in the full sweep of the liner celebrated departure from England and Ireland from boarding the Titanic special rail train at Waterloo Station to port activity at Queenstown, ultimately the final photographs of the ship as she disappeared from view off the coast of Ireland. And the, the guy who uh, took these pictures, his name was uh, Father Francis Brown. And um, these are absolutely amazing. Originally, this book was originally titled when the book was originally released. Uh, when it was originally released in in Europe, um, yeah, when it originally was first published, um, when it originally was first published uh, by Wolfhound Press as um, Father Brown's Titanic album. But it is the same book. This is just the American version. The Wolfhound publishing version was the version printed in Ireland. You know, I'm going to talk about the book, but I'm going to come back here. I want to show you the pictures in this book because you guys need to see the fucking pictures in this book. It's absolutely incredible. So, I'm going to work in. We'll get this going. Okay. There we go. We've got Titanic right here. Okay. The last days of the Titanic. This was, like I said, this was an incredibly amazing book. And here's the guy right here, Father Frank Brown. And this is what he was doing, you know, he was a chaplain to the Irish Guards, 1915 to 1920. So, anyway, Father Brown became a very celebrated photographer. And this is actually a really cool picture of the Titanic. And this was one of the last photographs he took of the Titanic. You see there's a bunch of seagulls and stuff, which that makes sense. Just absolutely fucking incredible, guys. You know, basically what this book does, it it, it, it basically copies, because in the 1920s, as a commemorative gesture, he made a photo album called A Day on the Day a Liner Sailed. And he added the pictures into this article. These are just some pictures of different ships in Queenstown. Not the Titanic precisely, but you know, the, 
you know, the America and Ireland. These were the tenders at um, Queenstown. So, here's the Titanic. Because uh, before he sailed, he was given an amazing blueprint. Not blueprint, but deck plans of the Titanic. In this book, up here in the corner, it says, This is vastly a plan of the Olympic, from which the Titanic differed in several minor details. He actually made that note, which was really awesome. Father Brown put together his Titanic album in the year 1920. As already explained in my introduction, the volume contained photographs of other ships. Originally pasted his photos on separate sheets of cream colored mount board and added his captions and handwriting. And this is facsimiles of those pages. You know, these are just the facsimiles of those pages. You know, it's absolutely, like I said, this book is absolutely just a treasure trove. Now, here we go. This is enlargements of the pictures with more detailed uh, stuff, you know. You know, detail from Don Lynch and Ken Marshall, which they wrote the book Titanic and Illustrated History, which I reviewed already. And this is a photo. This is a, a postcard of the Titanic. This was after she sank, cause he made voyage 15th of April. There's the train. There's the side of the Titanic. I love this photo. I love this photograph. You see the side of the liner and stuff. All the, all those rivets. See, pictures like this really give you just a scale. There's people down on the key side, just the scale of this thing. And there's several ships that were in harbor. Tugs helping her push her out, leaving Southampton Quarry. The tugs nudging on her. And this is the only picture of the forecastle deck in detail. They heard near collision with the New York. The New York being pulled. And of course, Titanic leaves Southampton with the bow of the New York. And of course, this is the only known photograph of this area. This is right under the bridge. This is a picture, the only known picture of the deck. You can see all the water pipes and stuff. People said this is Captain Smith, but it's not, because Captain Smith wouldn't have been up on the bridge, because the, the ship was still under the control of the pilot. See? Outside the gymnasium. Absolutely awesome picture. Inside the gymnasium, this guy right here, this is T.W. McCauley, he was the gym instructor. So many, so many amazing fucking pictures. And this is, like I said, this, this book is a treasure trove. Like this one here, the Titanic at sea, you can see the wake and stuff, that's an incredible picture. Of course you can see her stern, and you see the wake she left behind. And this is a picture from another ship, but this gentleman right here, that's Jack Phillips. He was the wireless operator on board the Titanic. This is the only picture of the wireless operating room with Harold Bright at the key. There's Titanic dropping her hook off Queenstown. This amazing picture of Captain Smith looking over the sign. How uh, very uh, eerie, because several days later he'd be doing the same thing, looking for the iceberg after she hit. Picture of the Titanic in Queenstown. Of course, you see her lovely name and Porter Registry very well. This is another eerie picture. This very area you see would be the area that the iceberg would gash into several days later. You know, just this. I mean, there's a lot of information, a lot of detail in this book. At sea on the Titanic. This was something he wrote for the. Um, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the magazine, uh, the, the Belvederian, right here, see, 1912. And it's an, actually an amazing article, the Titanic at Queenstown, after the tragedy, you know, and of course, you know, in later years. And this is a letter from the White Star Line asking him to quit doing his uh, slideshow presentations on the disaster because they wanted to basically, you know, forget about it. And of course, you know, this is a memorial. This is in Dolgren Square. This is the Titanic Memorial, but it was moved years later. Funny thing is, right behind it, ironic, it says the Oshi Accident and Guarantee Company. <laughs> How fucking ironic. 
so yeah, like I said, absolutely amazing, absolutely, just like I said, it's an, an amazing fucking book, all of these pictures in this book are genuine pictures of the Titanic, not her sister, there's a couple of them of her sister, but they're all genuine pictures of the Titanic, taken by Father Francis Brown, and the details that are, you know, explained in this book, are absolutely a treasure trove for Titanic historians and Titaniacs like myself. I give this book a 5 out of 5. It is definitely a must in, in your collection if you collect Titanic stuff. This book is an absolute fucking must. You gotta get it. So there you go guys, that is my review of the book The Last Days of the Titanic by E.E. E. O'Donnell. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back with you. And as always, if you're new to the channel and you like this shit I'm doing, hit that fucking subscribe button, people. Come on, damn it. Hit that notification bell. Become part of the Commerce Crew. Never miss another video again, boy. So until next time, it is Comet Urban. It's had smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with all of you. And God bless all of you, alright? Take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay awesome. Be yourselves. And a final word to all the haters out there. Fuck you guys. Until next time, so long.